Brendan Taylor here at True School Sports. I'm with Lee Iglesias. How you doing, Lee? Good, man. Good. It's good to meet you, man. Uh, first of all, just tell people about yourself, like what brought you here to Safety McKinley's gym and, and just who you are as a fighter. Um, I'm from Staten Island, New York. I was brought here by Yoel Judah, Zab Judah's father, coach. Zab Judah's six-time world champion. Um, he basically called me, said, listen, we got some work out here in uh, Florida. Can you make it? Can you get down to Florida the 29th? The 29th was my birthday. And I said, yeah, let's do it. That sounds like a good birthday to me. And um, so we're here. We're we're out here to spar and train with a bunch of these tough guys from Florida. Yeah. Now, um, interestingly enough, you told me that you, you, you're probably the most inexperienced guy in the gym today. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in the gym. Yeah. We got guys who fought for world titles, contenders. Yeah. Um, first of all, you know, do, do you feel like you belong in the ring today? Because sometimes you could feel like you could be your own. These high caliber fighters may not feel like, like you belong. It definitely puts the pressure on you a little bit. But at the same time, that's the level I want to get to. Mm -hmm. That's the level I'm, I'm striving to get to. Yeah. So the fact that I can hold my own today with, with guys that are just you know, have way more experience than me. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. It actually boosted my confidence big time today. Man. It's good. I'm around the right people. So okay. I, feel good. I was brought here for a reason. So there you go, man. Uh, how about your amateur? How, how many amateur fights did you have? Don't have a big amateur background. I only have about 20 amateur fights. Mostly shows. I took the ring sides in 2015. Mm -hmm. But uh, aside from that, just shows here and there. I, I got some tournaments, you know. I didn't really start taking off and realizing uh, how good I really was till the last few, the last two years when I found your well and, and uh, he showed me, you know, what I was capable of. Well, you mentioned Noel. Um, you know, obviously he had a, he had a fantastic son as a fighter. Yeah. Um, is it, what I, what's like the biggest thing you learned from Noel, and maybe even Zab if you've been around Zab? I don't know if you've been around oh Zab. yeah, I've been around Zab. Zab I, I learned a lot from Zab too. Uh, they watched me and they were like, you know what, man, you, you're gifted. You got speed. You know, you got power. You got everything. That, and uh, Yoel told me I reminded him of his son. And to me, I was like, no way, like really? You know? <laughs> so when he went, when, you know, that coming from him and seeing, you know, that, how much interest he's taken into me, and I know, like, I was destined for great things. I was destined, you know, you know, just because I have 20 amateur fights don't mean I can't be a great, you know. So that's that's my biggest motivation right there. Absolutely. Um, that's a pretty good, big compliment, actually, like, yeah. to compare you to Zab Judah. Zab, yeah, yeah. I mean, Zab's, you know, his, has his own cloth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Comes from his own cloth. But, you know, that definitely, made, you know, made me very confident. Okay. Uh, did you ever, like, I, um, did you ever talk to Zab himself? Like, yeah, what was I talked the biggest to Zab. Thing to Zab told me, work hard, man. He's like, work hard, don't slack off. You know, keep, keep pushing for your dreams. You know, don't let anything distract you. Use your talent. Mm -hmm. He's like, use your talent. And uh, you know, you can have as much talent as you want, but uh, I, I was taught that you know, hard work beats talent. And talent doesn't work hard. So that was like the biggest thing from, from his dad. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, you, and you're a southpaw too. Southpaw, yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 are there any fighters who influence your style? Like growing up, influence my style. Yeah. A lot of fighters, but if I had to name maybe a top three, I would say Pernell Whitaker. Okay. Um. Rory Jones Jr. and Tim Farmer. I like Tim Farmer. Farmer. Yeah. As, okay. As more recent. Yeah, yeah, and he's coming up. He's doing really great. Like okay. What, what, what do you like about Tim Farmer? I love his head. I, I love his leg. His legs. He's got the best legs in the business by far. By far. Okay. Uh, I, I assume you fall boxing because to know who Tim Farmer is, you gotta fall boxing. Uh, you oh know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you? Uh, did you watch the uh, Pacquiao Broner fight at yes. all? Yes. Fight. What did you what, what did you think of it? What did you make of it? Um, honestly, I, I was right on the money. My, a lot of my friends thought that Pacquiao was gonna knock Broner out. I think Pacquiao's very capable of doing that. I just think Broner wasn't gonna let it happen by by doing what he what he did, which is keep his distance and grab and hold and make it a very slow fight. Um, really wasn't much of a fight to watch. I don't think Broner got beat up. No. But you know, I also think Broner didn't give Pacquiao the chance. He didn't exchange with Pacquiao, so it was a boring fight. I predicted it. Yeah. And so yeah. Pacquiao, Pacquiao's the man, though. I love Pacquiao. I'm a big yeah. Pacquiao fan. Broner's the man too, but I feel like you know he fought a lot of tough guys, man. Really early, really early in his career. So I don't know if he's maybe just doing funny now. I'm not sure. It is. He's still another favorite of mine, to be honest. I, I looked up to him too coming up. So Broner. Yeah, big time. Okay. So, he's definitely, like, I think he's really good. Alright, well, how do you think Pacquiao does against these other top guys? Because they're talking about him finding, like, Thurman, like, Thurman, like, Thurman, Garcias, uh, Spence, Thurman, Porter. I think he'll do well against Thurman. I think Thurman has really good legs, really good power. 
but he likes to exchange too. He, he likes to get a little wild, and Pacquiao likes to. Uh, Pacquiao's a good counter puncher, man. Pacquiao likes to fight, so I think that's gonna. Be, I see Colazzo, you know, touch them up a little bit, and I, I think Pacquiao's at a little bit of a higher level than Colazzo, so I think that'd be an interesting one. As far as uh, Spence, Crawford, I don't know. That's tough. The man's 42. Maybe you know, a few years ago, I could see you know, I could see it being different, but it, it's gonna be rough for him to beat guys like that. Like they're young, they're in their primes, you know. So, but it'll be interesting to watch. I'll yeah. definitely watch that. Absolutely. You know? I, I think you do really good against like Porter. I think Porter is like a style as Taylor. Porter and Pacquiao would be a good event. That would be an entertaining fight. Super. Entertaining. Yeah, I remember when, um, I interviewed Porter like about a year ago, and he was saying, I asked him about his sparring sessions with Pacquiao because you know, he worked with him a lot. Yeah. And he said, uh, you know, I asked him, like, he said something crazy because uh, he sparred him like 2009 when Pacquiao was like oh, wow. at his prime. He's like, yeah, you know, I was fast, and I was, I was doing this, I was doing that. I'm like, okay, Sean. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I love all that. Yeah, yeah. Sparring, sparring, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's a little different. It's like, it ain't fighting. Like so. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what, what, what did you think about... Uh, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. What did I think about Tyson Fury? Oh, man, it. that was a great fight. That was a great I'm a huge Tyson Fury fan. I've always been, and I was really upset when he kind of fell off the map. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was depression and all that. I'm so happy he came out of that. But, uh, and I'm a big fan of Deontay Wilder, too. So I was like, oh, this is like, yeah, a, yeah. like a Dragon Ball Z fight. <laughs> like, I couldn't wait to see this happen. Uh, I thought Tyson would win on decision, you know, like a landslide, honestly, mm -hmm. because um, just because he, he, he moves so much for a heavyweight. He does a lot of faith. Very smarter, and Wilder, he, he's more of a. Uh, if he hits you, you know it's lights out. You know that. But uh, so that's a, but that fight actually turned out to be better than I thought it would be. So, and I don't know how the fuck he got up. <laughs> no one knows that. I don't even know. It's, like, it's almost like it was an act of God itself. Like yeah, God that just shows up. you the kind of faith he has in himself. You know, in, in his cause. So mm -hmm. it, it was a beautiful thing to watch. Absolutely. Uh, how do you think like Fury would do against Anthony Joshua? Fury and Anthony Joshua, I think he outboxes Anthony Joshua. You think so? I like Anthony Joshua, but I think he's, uh, that's rough, because he's good. He's athletic. That's a good one, but I, I would give the edge to Tyson. Tyson, you don't see too many guys that big who can move that well. You know, their upper body and their lower body. A lot of these guys, the heavyweight guys, they're all upper body, and then they don't move too much. Mm -hmm. Tyson can move. I give the edge to Tyson uh, yeah. on that one. Positionally too, like he's always in the right position to hit you. He's always in the right position and he's just annoying. He's constantly fake, fake, fake. Yeah. It's hard to time. Guys like that are hard to time. By the time you, you figure him out, it's the 12th round. The 12th round. Like, you look up, he's up 9, nine nothing. Exactly. <laughs> You're like, shit, I gotta knock him out. Yeah. So, Anthony Joshua and Fury, yeah, definitely Fury. I think yeah. I got Fury. Though. Hopefully it happens, man. Ho I, that's that's by, I, I hope it happens. Yeah, definitely. It has to. Yeah. Um, any message to the boxing world about yourself, your career, like moving forward, you want to get a, get across? Like, um, yeah, man, I'm just looking to uh, to to become a world champion. I'm gonna fight at 140 when I turn pro. Uh, I want to take a belt and uh, you know be the, be there with you know be one of the greats. Yeah. You know, I'm not looking to be the greatest of all time. It's never really been my my goal. I just love the sport. Mm -hmm. I love to box. I itch when I'm not boxing, so this is just something that I really love, and I'd like to build a platform from it, and that's about it, you know, um, I don't want to do it too long, well, you, you know, can't. competitive wise, I'd like, to, <laughs> I'd like to do it competitive wise for, for, you know, maybe 10 years, or maybe less, and then, and then just open my own gyms and stuff like that, Yeah, yeah. so that's I mean, how I'm feeling about it. Give back to the sport, you know? Yeah, yeah, give back to the sport, yeah. big time, you know, there's a lot, a lot of guys out there go to the street, so I'd like to uh, maybe... Maybe be a promoter or something like that yeah. one day, you know. So. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like you got a, a good head on your shoulders, Lee. Look forward to following you and all that stuff.